Okay, so today I don't want to say that we are playing the Kaiserreich Railway of Liberty. But I have already said it. Okay, let's skip it. So today, yeah, we got the horrors of the socialism. We got the Socialist Republic of Italy. Yeah, socialism. Today. But we are not going to play as the just Socialist Republic of Italy. We are going to play it, but with the totalism. With the head of the state, Benito Mussolini. Bolt from Italy. We are going to build a great Socialist Republic of Italy with that great bold man Benito Mussolini. So, enjoy today's campaign! The Socialist Republic of Italy. So there you can see the scribe of the breaking of Italy. And our advantage of being the Socialist Republic of Italy is that these territories that we control are the most developed in the Italy. And of course the Italian Republic is to hold in one of the most developed regions of the Italy, such as Milan and Venice. And to Sicilis is agrarian piece of shit. And what about our population? Now the population of our Italy is 14 million people living under the socialist control. But after our great reunification, there must be around 40 million people living in the Socialist Republic of Italy. I think that we can reach this goal. It's not so hot. There we have the second resort Germento and Vivalia Italia. And from the beginning of our campaign we have already the resort Germento decisions. Other Italian countries must unlock them. But we have them from the beginning of the, our campaign. That's pretty good. Well, I give a cool icon to the division Garibaldi, to the normal infantry divisions. I like this skull a lot. It reminds me the capitalists. Dead capitalists. And we didn't choose the communal syndicalism cause it's related to the strength of the republic and the syndicalism. We choose the IRI cause it's related with the strength and the chairman and with the totalist economic, not the syndicalist economic. And near Samara right here we have the Russian city Taliati which is named for Palmira Taliati, the leader of the Italian socialists. Yeah, in the Soviet Union in the real life they renamed city Stavropol which was located near Samara. They renamed it to the Taliati. And Taliati wasn't renamed after the crash of the Soviet Union so now there is still city named Taliati in the Russia near Samara. You can find information about it. Let's get to work. I like work a lot. Day 1. Economic policy. We choose nothing short of total industrialization will suffice. Day 2. Internal policy. We will focus on empowering the chairman. Day 3. Religious policy. We support the state atheism. And mint gingerbread. Eating the mint gingerbread. It wasn't a war crime if you were having fun. Unione Nazionalista Majority. Congratulations, comrade Mussolini. There we go. Handsome, bold man. With pathos view. Red tie, red man. Red great chairman. If he can deal good with the Socialist Republic of Italy, he can deal good with the woman too. Woman like bold man. Trenton, the chairman, the great Italian dungeon master. So now we can say goodbye to the Catholics and Catholic Church. Now we have our own bold and awesome god. Bold man Benito Mussolini from Italy. Bold from Italy. The real god. Italian god. Benito Mussolini is going to be like Comrade Lenin in the Soviet Union. No, he won't lie in the mausoleum. He will be a legend, an Italian legend. And one important thing. Comrade Mussolini isn't a mushroom as Comrade Lenin. 
And we have a new ally in the face of the Norwegian Socialist Republic. They have fucked up the King Hakon 7. And as you can see, American Civil War has started. We have no Pacific States of America cause Social Democrats in the face of the Floyd Olson was elected. So by the end of the April 1937 we have finished one Focus 3, now we are going to search the economy Focus 3 and after that we will go to the army to rebuild our great army. Choosing between Red Guards and the Red Army, of course we are going to build the great Red Italian Army, cause Red Guards is just like a partisan movement for me, but Red Army it's a cool and a strong scene. Kosovo is Albania, not Serbia. And now it's the January 1939 and finally we can start the research mentor after 20 years after the civil war. We will reunite Italy once and forever with the bold god, bold from Italy. You know, this scene reminds me something, but it's August and it's 1939, not 2022. And it is not the special military operation. Now, finally, in August 1939, we can attack the Italian Republic. So let's do it and crush those demon capitalists in the northern Italy with social conservative government. Oh shit, here we go again. The Kingdom of France declared war on the German Empire. So we wish luck to the, our allies. As you can see, now we are pushing Italians. Now we can stop them and just go to Venice. We aren't doing the war crimes in the Italian Republic, we are just having a fun against them. And we have even encircled them right here in near Milan. A lot of divisions are encircled in the Alps. So we are going to finally push them into the Milan and probably end this war. Cause they are doing not so good near Venice too, as you can see. Okay, let's join. Cause we are gonna have a little bit problems if we won't join, as you can see. Minus political power, minus stability and minus totalism. It's like decision with only one answer. There we go, now we are in the third international. Okay, so two Sicilias has declared war on us. Now we are going to destroy them and destroy their puppet, their Catholic puppet. We dislike Catholicism. Cause we have our own god Benito. And as you can see two front war isn't a problem for us. So yeah, it's the end of the war with Italian Republic, congratulate me. And I'm still not in the second will crack, so two Sicilies hasn't joined Rex Pact. Now we have war one by one, just we against the two Sicilies. We against the Agrarians. Stupid Agrarians. Finally Russia has declared war to the German Empire, now they are gonna have a lot of problems. And Russia has almost destroyed Ukraine. And by the way we are trying to push the two Sicilies. We are doing that pretty good near Pescara. So now our great duchy proved that he can conquer anything and everyone who he want to conquer. Yep and Naples is captured so they left right here, only right here near, near Rome. Occupation of the southern Italy is going pretty successful. By the end of the 1939 we will end this war. So basically Rome is going to fall. Again. And we got a pretty cool encirclement of the forces of the Kingdom of Two Sicilias. Now we see that they have left with almost no forces and they have lost a lot of people. And soon they are going to lost all divisions that has remained. I like Sicily oranges a lot. While Russians are doing not so good, our allies are doing pretty good. Good job Russia, you are the boy for the kicking. And our allies are dungeon masters. We have almost reunited Italy, only Sardinia has left independent. But we will deal with Sardinia a little bit later. Now we need to help our allies and also destroy the United States of the Greater Austria and take the Aegean coast. Cause it's an Italian territories. 
the Great Italy territories. We just need to conquer the whole Aegean coast. Well, Austria, you have a lot of problems, as you can see, because now we are even in Croatia and moving further right to the Montenegro, to the Montenegrin coast, to the Kotor. And also I would like to capture Zagreb. Yeah, fresh Italian forces has changed this war a lot. Yeah, I have fully captured the coast of the United States of the Greater Austria for the first month's war. And what did you do to destroy the Reichspakt? By the way, Russians still can destroy even Ukraine. They have left with no divisions, but Russians can still destroy them and take Odessa. I wasn't even joking about capturing the whole United States of the Greater Austria by the end of the summer 1940. It really wasn't a joke. Now we are near Vienna, in the end of the spring. Oh, okay, now I'm fighting in the Germany, in the Deutsches Kaiserreich, near Munich. Yeah, we have captured Munich, as you can see. Italian forces in the Munich, after two months when I started war. We have even encircled some Austrian and German divisions in the Bavaria. Italians in Banat. Now we can say that Italians can go and capture anywhere. Italians can be in the Stuttgart and can be in Timisoara. Now we have even fights against the Bulgarians near Danube River. Oh, and let's begin the cultural revolution. We must clean Italy of corruption and clean of radical socialists, syndicalists and other bad sides of the Italian society. And near Rhine we are going to unite with our French communard friends, tovarishi, or in English comrades. By the August 1940 the front line looks like that, we are just staying by rivers, by Danube river and that's all, we can't push further. The fate of the Pope. Exile the Pope from Italy. Based decision. We've got a new Pope and new God. Benito Mussolini. It's September 1940 and it's the collapse of the Reichs Pact. Goodbye Deutsches Kaiserreich. I can take a few parts from Dutch East Indies. Why not? I need this colony. So yeah, I will have a few colonies. Where Benito Mussolini can rest. He will rest near Australia. I like our new positions. And we will give German territories to the, our ally, to the commune of France. So Russia took only Memel and uh, all other territories were occup occupied by the commune of France. Italy's place on the world stage. We choose a world revolution. Unione Nazionalista victory. The Union Nationalista has achieved a majority and are now in charge of the government. Congratulations, comrade Mussolini. Oh well, look at the buffs that we will get. Nothing has changed a lot, but okay, let it be. Goodbye United States of the Greater Austria, you are going to be destroyed in a few days. Okay, now we have partition not even of the United States of the Greater Austria, but even Bulgaria. So it's my first move, it's my second move and go away, French commune. That's my sphere of influence, not yours. I help you with Germany, so go back from these territories. Now that looks much better. I will even help you to capture Poland and Belarus. Now in Bulgaria we have a funny man with a fun hat, Vasil Ikonomov. Funny man from Bulgaria. So the partition of the United States of the Greater Austria looks like that. I've created a little bit strange Croatia, a little Republic of Austria, the Great Czechoslovakia, Union of Galicia Lodomeria, Socialist Republic of Transylvania and the Great Bulgarian Socialist Republic. I gave them all territories cause they have a pretty funny ruler. And Aegean coast is mine, as you can see. And I will give Polish territories to the Commune of France. So now Italian forces are fighting in Lithuania and Belarus. As well as I gave Lithuania to the Commune of France. But now I have my own problems, so I need to help in the war against the Entente. So the post-war border with Russia looks like that and it's the all socialist republics that we have right now. As you can see it looks like that. And I have a pretty good news. I'm going to establish claim on Malta. As well as I want to do it with Ticino. Oh and my forces has arrived to the Corsica. Now we start our attacks on the Corsica as you can see. Well, the Japanese Empire has started the war against the United States of America with Hulong. Wait a minute, 
United States of America є лонку has won the Civil War. But he restored the United States of America with the American flag? What the fuck? I haven't seen that before. He long can restore the United States. Let it be. Let it be. I didn't know about that. Cause Rick can really surprise me. A lot. Even my forces have started the naval invasion into the Sardinia. At least we are trying to do that. Yep, we have invaded into the Sardinia. Now we have only to deal with that forces. And try to encircle these forces in North Sardinia. And of course, uh, these divisions will attack it. Yep, we done the great encirclement. So Sardinia is going to capitulate soon. Well, Sardinia has capitulated. That's a pretty good news. I'd like to capture Switzerland. Now we have to make naval invasions into the North Africa. Holy shit, we got the sacred Union of Tibet with the based man Nicholas Roy Reich. I like this based Tibet a lot. Share information about this based Tibet. We can compare this man with Benito Mussolini, cause Benito Mussolini is the Catholic god, he's an Italian god, and it's a Tibet Buddhist god, Nicholas Roy Reich. Based man, based chairman. Now I would like to say hi to my old friend Ottoman Empire, and of course to the Libya. Oh, and there we have the partition of the French Republic, good news. Wow, the Third International has almost captured the whole South America. So, let's capture Romania. Oh, and I forgot to justify war against the Ottomans, cause we are going to capture Ottoman Empire soon. Minus Romania. So now we have a total East Romania. Well, Russia has started two war against the Ottoman Empire, so we will have a fine against them. Well, I didn't think it will happen right now, but Sardinia has capitulated. Really. Now we'll just take our territories. Now the whole Italy is reunited. What about our population? The population of the Italy now on the core territories is 45 million people and non-core 5 million people. So the whole population of Italy, as I said, would be 50 million people. We achieved it. So now it's the January 1942 and we are going to attack the Ottoman Empire. Well, Ottoman Empire is going to capitulate in a few days. Well, the Ottoman Empire has capitulated, now we are going to party them. I would like to liberate Africa, so my first goal is to take African lands. So yeah, partition of the Ottoman Empire looks like this. People's Republic of Hejaz. So the partition of the Ottoman Empire looks like this. As you can see, we have Iraq, we have Syria, we have Egypt and we have also Sudan. Now we are going to liberate African lands to help our allies to destroy Entente. And after that we will go and destroy Switzerland. It's our final goal. And as you can see, Britons and French army are doing pretty good in the North America. They are doing the special military operation against the Heelong and the Dominion of Canada. Holy shit, it's a part of Nigeria and look how many divisions are trapped right here. Well, now we have war against Russia, really, cause they have attacked my Turkey and now they are going to have war with all our alliance. Paris against the Moscow, it's the final struggle. The Great Trial of Russian State. I think that we can destroy Russia to the 1943. It will be pretty easy. We just need to have a warm tactic war, cause they won't have enough forces to destroy our worms and our worms will get further into the Russia and by worms we will capture lots of territories. Okay, now we got the end of the Cultural Revolution and now we had the Michele Bianchi as our leader. Where is my Benito Mussolini? Where is my Benito? My great and lovely Benito. Now I miss him a lot. Poor Benito, what they did to you? I didn't even know about this man. Kaiserreich can really surprise me. So our offensive on Russia, as you can see, is going pretty well. We have captured almost all Ukraine, Belarus, Baltic countries and now we are pushing to the Moscow and Petrograd. Well, hello Moscow, it's September 1942. And yeah, we have captured Moscow by 25th of September. Well, basically, warm tactic is working, as you can see. My worms are getting deeper and deeper to the Russian state. Okay, so now Putin's palace near Gelenjik is ours, as you can see, because we control the territory of the Black Sea near Novorossiysk and Sochi. 
Putin, hello there. Well, now stupid Russians are trapped in the North Caucasus, Transcaucasia, and in Turkey. Okay, so Russia has capitulated. Okay, I took all that I wanted and the rest Russian territories I will give to the Kingdom of France. They are going to release Russia. So the partition of uh, Russian state looks like this. Now we also got the Russian Socialist Republic with Alexander Kalantai. And well, the past Russian state territories looks like this. We have a lot of puppets and just look at the influence of the Third International. Our influence is great right now, you know, and all we need to conquer right now is the Switzerland. All that has left. Cause I don't give a fuck about other countries, I even don't give a fuck about Entente. I don't need Entente, I don't need their territories. Well, you know, I'm a little bit lazy as our great Duce, Benito Mussolini, so I don't want to wait. 400 days I will just declare war to the Switzerland right now because I don't give a fuck they are ready to this war we know that so goodbye Switzerland we will capture you in a few weeks so now it's the partition of the Switzerland Helvetic Commune that is located only in the German lands and Ticina is going to be our territory and what I can say about our population our population on core territory is now 84.5 million people, but with Stichina it will be plus 272 case. And in non-core it's 3 million people. So if we plus our population, it will be 50 plus million people living in the Socialist Republic of Italy. We built a great country with lots of puppets, as you can see, in the whole world. God damn, we have restored a little bit a uh, Roman Empire. If we talk about our puppets, it's Egypt, it's Libya, it's Turkey. It's Middle East, it's Central Asia, it's Eastern Europe. God damn, we have lots of puppets in the Europe, in the Africa and in the Asia. And we built a cult of personality of Benito Mussolini. He became an Italian god. Now Italians don't need Catholicism, because they have Benito Mussolini as their god. And the sphere of influence of the Third International is just wow. And in a few years we are going to capture the North America and defeat Entente to the end. So thanks for watching and bye!